My name's Pamela, and ever since I was a little girl, basketball has been my thing. Well, that's because Dad was a famous basketball player a long time ago, and now he's a coach. When you score, you stand with one leg in front, one in back. Hold the ball like this, and then you score. Like this? Well done, baby girl. One day you're going to be a pro, just like me. Dad loved winning, and because of him, I grew up and became the best in my team, until I started having these strange dreams. I've been waking up from my sleep for six months now, and I haven't told anyone. My gut told me that was not going to last. Come to us. <gasps> oh! These dreams again. Wild, right? I'm from Kenya, born and raised here. I'm just your typical high school girl, determined and confident. But these dreams are something else. Please make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Sometimes people think I have a big ego, but I just like making my dad super proud. Not everybody was happy about that, especially Sandra, a pretty girl in my team. Hey, what's wrong with you? Are you crazy? Why didn't you pass the ball? I called out like a million times. You always want to take the win. Chill out, girl. We still won the game. When she was about to push me again, the rest of our team lifted me up in the air, and Sandra just sulked like a rotten apple. After the game, I went straight to the shower room, but when I was done, all my clothes were cut into pieces, and I had no choice but to wrap myself up with the shower curtain. This girl had no shame. She looked at me with her cunning eyes, and I was so mad. What's the matter, Pamela? You've run out of clothes. This is not funny, Sandra. You can be expelled for what you did. I'll just say it wasn't me. I had enough of her. So I pinned her down and then, Bradley, my boyfriend, appeared and pulled me off her. Pamela, what are you doing? This she-devil cut all my clothes. She's lying. I think your girlfriend has lost her marbles. Bradley pulled me away and started lecturing me as if I was his child. We have a reputation to keep. You can't run around acting like a crazy person. Whatever, Bradley. Bradley and I ended up dating because our fathers were good friends. I liked him sometimes, but most of the time he was so annoying and I couldn't really be myself around him. Once he drove me home after school, I felt like singing to the music and he just turned it off. Hey, that's my favorite song. You're a basketball player, not a singer, Pamela. Whatever. You can't be angry about what I said. We need to know our priorities. And singing is not one of them. I sing for fun. See you at the family dinner, I guess. Bradley was a bit of a control freak. Like I said, I couldn't be myself around him. Later that evening, my family went to Bradley's house for a family dinner we normally have every Friday. And this time, my dad had an announcement to make. Everyone. Can I have your attention? I just want to say how proud I am of my one and only daughter, Pamela. She just got accepted to study at the most prestigious university in the USA. And with some extra motivation, she will be joining the biggest basketball club. I was a bit upset that dad opened up my letter before me, but it was also an exciting moment. Wow, this is great news. And I'll be there right by your side. <laughs> my dad had some good connections in the USA for me to kick off my career in basketball, so all eyes were on me to do exceedingly well. That night, we were all great until suddenly I felt like a hammer was bending on my head. Bradley brought me a tall glass of water. Here, drink this. It helps with my headaches all the time. Water? Yep, water. It cures the pain like magic. If the first glass doesn't work, try three more. You'll be fit as a horse. Just hearing him talk made my headache worse. So my mom, who was the sweetest woman alive, kindly took me home. After I got home, I crashed on my bed. I must have dozed off because hours later, I could hear my mom's voice calling me from far away. Pamela? Pamela, wake up. Eventually when I woke up, I was sweaty and shaking. No idea what was happening or even where I was. Pamela, I'm worried about you. I keep having these dreams about the ocean and some people calling me into the water. Okay, and how's your head? I feel okay, except for my neck. And sometimes I get these really bad stomach cramps. Oh, that doesn't sound good. We are going to the doctor first thing in the morning. The next day, mom took me to the doctor. I could tell something was wrong by the way he kept looking at the charts. Imagine my surprise then. 
Everything seems to be fine with her. Healthy young woman. I can give you something for the headaches. How can you not find anything wrong? I've been in pain for over a week. I have these nightmares. I need you to fix this. It just didn't make sense. How could he find nothing wrong? I got so mad that I just stormed off. When I got home from the hospital, my grandma was there. I hadn't seen her in years. Oh, you've grown so much. <laughs> yeah, Gran. It's nice to see you again. I've missed you. Your mom tells me that you have been having some headaches, stomach cramps, strange dreams. It's been a rough couple of weeks. Probably just a phase. I want you to come with me to the village. I think I know someone who could help. Someone like who? A village healer. <laughs> Grant, I don't believe in all that stuff. I think you should go with your grandmother. I could see the worry in my mom's eyes, but I didn't want to go there. And just when I was about to reject them, a soaring pain went right through my back. <gasps> Come, we need to go. Mom and Gran got me to the village as quickly as they could. Normally, I would have been thrilled to visit. Not so much today. Honestly, I couldn't believe what was happening to me. I was scared, but didn't want to show it. My mouth was dry. Pain was shooting through every cell in my body. I wanted to be anywhere but here, but something deep inside was telling me it was going to be okay. Mom and Gran took me into this strange hut, and when we were inside, there was a man who was seated on a straw mat. He glared at me like a zombie. Mom, Gran, are you sure about this? Yes, come sit. My heart pounded as I sat down, wondering what was going to happen next. Hmm, finally you have arrived. Were you expecting me? Jeez! Quiet. This was getting creepier by the moment. <laughs> no, I can't do this. You have the calling. I knew it. I had no idea what he was talking about. And then he tied a black string around my ankle while my mom and Gran just watched. There's not much time left. She needs to start the training before it's too late. Too late? What are you talking about? You have a calling from your ancestors to be a healer like him. It is a great honor. What? No way, I don't want that. I'm going to the USA to be a famous basketball player. She's still so young. What do we do to make the ancestors wait a little longer? You cannot make the ancestors do anything. Mom, do you really believe in all this stuff? Yes. It's part of who we are. Make them know. Ask them. Yes. She needs to come with me to the river and ask her ancestors for time. This was a lovely experience, but I have a big game to practice for. I really wanted to go home, but Mom insisted we sleep over. I was tired and didn't even remember dozing off. The next morning, I woke up with another banging headache. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring my medication. Do you still have water? This is the village. You can get water from the tap. Just when I was about to argue with the guy for his bad customer service, a tall guy with the most beautiful brown eyes touched my shoulder. He's right, you know. Everyone here drinks water from the tap. Tastes the same. Bitter, actually. Haha, <laughs> wow. I guess I have no choice. I've never seen you around here before. My grandmother lives here. I just came to visit. That's nice. I'm Jif. And you are. I shook his hand, feeling so many butterflies rolling in my tummy. And do you live around here? My grandmother does. I come here for my training. Wow. You also have this calling thing too? Yes. I'm guessing you are here because of that. Yeah, but I don't believe in those things. I, uh, I have to go now. The pain and cramps only get worse if you don't accept it. It's actually not such a bad thing. Zenona. So I've heard. I walked away because I still thought the whole thing was crazy. At least, that's what I kept telling myself. Aha, you two are back, finally. So how was the village? Creepy. Gran took me to some healer, and he said I had some kind of calling from the dead or whatever. How crazy is that? 
You took her to a healer and you didn't tell me. I had to. She was in so much pain and she has no choice. She must answer the call. <laughs> no, this is not happening. We don't believe in that stuff. You don't believe in it, but I do. Mom and Dad got into an argument, and I let them be and went off to take a bath. I couldn't wait for practice. I felt good, but when I walked into the courtroom, my mind froze when I saw Sandra hugging Bradley. I couldn't believe it. Hey, what's going on? <gasps> Emma. What are you up to, Sandra? <laughs> it's not my fault that your man is into me. My blood boiled. I looked at Bradley, but he looked away, and then I walked up to him and slapped him. You two actually make a great match. It's like two snobs in the pod. Goodbye, Bradley. Thank goodness I drove mom's car to school. Suddenly, my life felt like a complete mess. I sat at that intersection for 10 minutes, just thinking. In one direction, home. The other, to the village. We're waiting for you, Pamela. I couldn't understand what was happening to me. It was like I was in another world. My head was spinning. I had to choose my path. When I got to my grandmother, she was gone. I just wanted all of this to go away. I didn't know what to do. Emma. Uh, help! I need help! My head! Come, we need to go to the healer. She needs help. Her pain is increasing. I can't help her. Because she won't accept who she is. At this point, I just wanted it all to stop. I couldn't handle the thumping sound in my head any longer, so I burst out. Okay, okay, I accept it. Just tell me what to do. Kum, we have to go to the river. I found myself in the middle of a freezing river, wondering what might eat me below the surface. I still couldn't believe all this was happening just because of some weird dreams and headaches. You need to talk to them. Like how? What do I say? Tell them what's in your heart. Ask for some time. You'll have to do this by yourself. We'll wait for you. I was a little scared to be left there alone, talking to my ancestors. So I closed my eyes and spoke from my heart. Hi, everyone that's here listening. Um, I want to be a basketball player, but you want me to be a healer. I've never really thought of myself as a healer, see? So this is pretty weird. So why me? I opened my eyes and waited for an answer, but there was just stillness. <sighs> I accept this. But I need you to give me some time to understand how all this works. And just like that, the headache was gone. So was the pain in my back. I felt so light, like I had nothing to worry about. They have heard you, Pamela. They don't say much, do they? They do if you listen. Hey, what are you doing up so late? Don't you have practice tomorrow? Yes, I do. Dad, I've decided to put my basketball dream on hold for a while. What? No, you can't do that. Stop talking like that. I'm answering the calling, Dad. What about your future? America, this is all your mother's fault. No, Dad, not everything is about winning. If I don't do this for me, then I'll never be complete. It's who I am and I accept it. Why can't you? My dad was upset that night, but I knew he'd get over it, and one day he'd be thankful. My training took 12 months to complete, and soon I was able to help other young people like myself. I'm so proud of you, Pamela. I would have never done this without you. Jeff and I got really close while I was training, and I kind of fell in love with him. Where are 
are you taking? To our daughter. <coughs> don't be afraid, Dad. This is why I made my choice, so that I can help. I don't believe in all this stuff. Not yet. Dad eventually got better and we were speaking again. I was a healer. I saved my father and I was happy. And then one day, my ancestors came into my dreams again. Only this time, I was listening. One thing's for sure, my ancestors were not subtle and they were kind of hard to ignore. I didn't need an interpreter to know what they were saying. It's weird how life turns out. I always thought I was going to be a rich and famous basketball player, but that was my dad's dream. My ancestors helped me find my own dream. They showed me the way to be a leader and a healer. And now, thanks to their guidance, I feel complete being a coach and a healer. Something tells me that my new life is going to be just fine.